Little A-liner Scout here at Halo Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in on trade. There is some unfortunate history with this camper. You know, there's a reason this has such an aggressive price tag on it. We try to be very realistic about the things that we have in stock so that, uh, you know, you can have a very realistic idea of what you're going to see before you get here. You know, if, if it were us and we had to drive four hours to some place to see a trailer and then showed up and it wasn't what we thought it was going to be based on how it was represented, we'd probably get upset. We don't expect you to be any different. So I'm going to try to show you some of the highs and lows, both of this camper, and then let you decide if it's worth your time and investment. Um, overall, looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Uh, it needs a cleaning. But, uh, and I can tell you that there's a couple spots here where you're going to see uh, a few dings where I don't know what hit it here. I don't even know how well it's going to show up on camera. But keep in mind, even small cosmetic stuff I'm going to point out here. Um, so there are a couple spots where it looks like maybe a, a lawnmower might have flung a couple rocks or something like that. This rear corner has somehow been crunched up at one point or another. Um, looks like it's, you know, they've put some sealant in there, some spray foam. It's not pretty. It is effective, though. The, uh, when it first came in, this front uh, cover here was just sun damaged and pitted and rotted and it was about an ounce from giving up the ghost and it probably would have been fine like that, but we don't like probably, you know, even though we do have this thing discounted, it's still a good chunk of money for somebody. So we replaced that vent cover, um, you know, at, at these dollars and cents, these two vent covers don't match, but they both work fine. The important part is they both work. Uh, stepping inside here. Um, in a little A-liner like this, you have to make some interesting uh, accommodations. The entire sink fixture, actually, you have to kind of basically hook it up each time you get in the camper and unhook it when you're done, and then it rests on the floor in transit. Because if you see where the fold line is on the walls, it would fold down and smash that, essentially. This is a two dinette model. You have a front dinette, and if you're wondering, these big skylights right here are for more than just light. They're exceptionally deep. You can actually set a couple people here and be very comfortable. Um, to keep you cool in the summertime, you see there's a big fan up there. And again, with no lights on, no power, it is comfortably bright inside this camper. Uh, a little furnace here to keep you warm in the winter. That is a gas-powered furnace. The primary dinette, which would fold down into the larger sleeping areas in the back. Again, those little skylights will help you sneak in there and fit a couple people. Nice little mini fridge you can plug in when you reach your destination. This is just a good outdoorsman's trailer. You know, this is uh, something maybe used for, say, hunting shacks, something like that. Something just to get you out of the weather a little bit, get your head up off the ground. That's exactly where I picture this trailer going. Um, you know, I, I'm, there's, like I said, nothing necessarily extremely wrong with it. There's a lot of cosmetic bumps. That corner over there has seen a couple better days. But it functions. It's in okay shape. So, uh, you know, we've tried to represent it fairly. If those things mean that this is not the trailer for you, remember that we will show you our units honestly. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.